Leonard and I just started speaking again. I hadn't seen him in a while, and we started talking. And we, as usual, with uh, as fond as we are of each other, we started talking, and and then he came out with a story he's never told anybody. It was just there, lurking in some dusty corner of his mind, and I, I sort of tickled it out of him, and, and there it was there. And he was amazed that he remembered uh, what it was he remembered. It was a fascinating story. My parents were not the kind that were terribly encouraging. They didn't want me to, to go off and be an actor or what, try to be an actor. What did they want you to do? Well, their, their concept of, of uh, what they wanted their children to take advantage of was the, the, a very American kind of, uh, you go to high school, get good grades, get into a good college, get good grades, become either a doctor, lawyer, engineer. Your brother. Right? Scientist, my brother's an engineer, yeah. Um, a dentist, a pharmacist, something where you can hang out a shingle and say... And, and, and knowledge oh, you can bring with you in case... And make you, a living. In case you had to run. And, yeah, that's right. And exactly. And make a living. So you have a secure life. When I told my dad, I want to be an actor, he said, well, you're going to be hanging around with gypsies and vagabonds. And then he said to me, learn to play the accordion. And he was serious. You can always make a living with an accordion. He had uh, many troubles adjusting to success and lack of success. And what were those troubles? How did he fight them? What were the demons? And what were some of the moments that is a snapshot that in looking at that glimpse, that snapshot of their character, you read a great deal? And when I was about 17, I acted in an adult drama for the first time, a play called Awaken Sing by Clifford Odette. Sure. I'm sure you're aware of Clifford Odette, sort of a great playwright of the 30s. Right. And it was, a, it was a social drama about a family so much like my own. And I was playing a kid, a 17-year-old kid, who was having the same issues in his life that I was having. Wow. Same, and three generations living in an apartment. Oh, for In God. the play. Oh, my God. That's so I, felt, I thought, wow, this is, this is really interesting. This is about people like me. These conversations I have with the people go on for an hour, an hour and a half, some kind, some in some cases, and that extra footage, maybe some time later, uh, A and E will let me use it. But at the moment, it's um, it's part of uh, raw nerve and owned by raw nerve.